recording software. Okay, so now we are officially recording. Good morning. Hello, it's time for 20 Minute Monster series. Uh, I have already done A, B, and C. This is D. A was for Ankeg or Ankeg. B was for Boule. Uh, C was for Carrion Crawler. Today is D, and D is for Displacer Beast. Um, make sure you go buy my art at tornakitsa.com. Uh, come at me on YouTube. Uh, I have a Patreon. If you want to throw me a, a, like a dollar or two dollars or a million dollars a month, you can do that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm on the Instagram, Torn Atkinson Artist. All right, so let's get rid of this. I've decided today to draw, have a little back, background here. So that'll be fun. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm going to make sure my brush is what I want it to be. 100, that's way too big. Oh, and I'll need a layer to draw on. <laughs> uh, good old blue layer. Um, so, what do we know about the Displacer Beast? Okay, this is from the... Of course, as many of us know, the Displacer Beast is uh, a monster in the original... Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Monster Manual. And uh, this drawing in the Monster Manual was from David A. Trampier. Uh, what are we, what's important? Well, the size. It's size L. It's important if we put in a human or an elf or a halfling for scale. <clears throat> Apparently they appear in groups of two to five. But I'm only going to draw one. Because I only have 20 minutes. Um, what else do we know? Uh, a pack of these monsters always contains only full-grown beasts. Oh, interesting. The molecular vibrations of the displacer beast are such that it always appears to be three feet uh, left, right, ahead, or behind its actual position. Thus, these monsters always cause opponents to subtract two from attack dice rolls. That's rule stuff. We don't need to worry about rule stuff. These fierce creatures hate all life, but they particularly hate blink dogs. Hmm. Which is interesting, because I don't remember Blink Dogs being in the B section of the Monster Manual, but they must be. Um, in combat, the Displacer Beast lashes out with his two tentacles, inflicting horrible wounds with the rough, horny edges of these appendages. Uh, the description. I've noticed the description in the uh, Monster Manual is always just colors. It doesn't describe what the creature looks like. It just says what colors... Are. And we're not doing color today, so we don't care about that. So that's great. Um, we might s keep that just in the uh, corner here for reference. Uh, and then, like I always like to do, it's become tradition now, uh, to look at Tony D oops, Ditter Lizzie's artwork. Um, this would be from second edition. I like Tony's style. Uh, so that's pretty good. Not as good as his carrying crawler, but it's good. And then some of you may be interested to know that uh, the Displacer Beast comes from, uh, it's not original to uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Hello, Evil Critters. Welcome to the uh, live stream. Uh, I, she says, I'm here. I won't be drawing along today, though. Well, that's too bad. Um, yeah, so the uh, Displacer Beast was inspired by the... I can't remember what the monster's name is. The the, the Dave Coulier. The, the Cruella. Something that begins with C and has an R and an L in it. Um, from The Voyage of the Space Beagle by A.E. Van Vogt. And was uh, in a Marvel's comic uh, book. Uh, Worlds Unknown, as you can plainly see. All right, enough of this gay banter. It is 10-11... Um, let's get rid of my scribbles here. Um, do I want to do black? Don't, uh, let's do, let's take this color. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to make it nice and dark. So it's kind of like a super dark mustard, a nice high quality, spicy German mustard. Um, when I was originally thinking about doing the Displacer Beast, I was, you know, 
I was considering doing a pose not unlike the original monster manual pose, which is like threatening. But then I just thought, you know what would be great? Cat. It's a cat, right? It's a cat like beast. Um let's make it do a cat thing. And what do cat things do a lot of the time? Sleep. So we're gonna do a, a resting um displacer beast. Uh I have a couple I just for cat anatomy. Um, I have a reference here. Where is it? That's not the one I wanted. Oh, here we go. Bring that in there. I always like to, when I look at cat anatomy, I always look at the, like to look at the hairless cats so you can actually see the anatomy. But let's keep that out of the drawing area. Um, and then of course, oh no, it's showed up on my damn it <laughs> um, okay I want a different layer for that Photoshop why do you gotta do me like that sorry about that everyone okay okay cool all right so we are going to I'm actually gonna do it this is gonna be a little challenging because uh, I draw don't draw cats a lot but that's what this series is all about we're going to challenge ourselves specifically me and um, let's see what we can uh, what we can get out of this all right it is 10 13 so that means I have until roughly 10 33 again sorry for the late start everyone um, Let's just, let's just put his, let's put his head here. Sleepy cat. And it's a panther, so it's going to be dark, too. So this is, maybe I chose the wrong color, but oh well. Sleeping cat. That's a, that's a mighty hump. Um, and then they always sleep on their, on their, oh, he's got six legs, too. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Oof. All right. Maybe be, maybe it should come up. Oh, okay. Hang on. Did I make a bad choice with this color? You know what? I'm just going to go black. So you guys, so all of you can actually see what I'm drawing. Let's be kind to our audience, shall we? Get down to a reasonable brush size. No, that's too big. Okay. Uh, yes. And then uh, put them on a rock or something. No, we'll put them on a... Whoop, I don't, oh, okay. We're not going to put them on a rock. We'll put them just on a flat ground. Uh, is anyone saying anything in the chat? I can always... You should base it on your old cat. Kodos, my old cat... That would be something. Uh, Evil Critter says, I read a couple of short stories about things extremely similar to it, and Voyage of the Space Beagle had the Xenomorph in it, too. Oh, my God. Maybe I should read that story. Meow Cat. Uh, I kind of want to turn his head a bit more. Let, let's, get the, let's get the rough anatomy before we start worrying about the head. Meow. So, I learned recently that cats have only tentacles. Good God. How many tentacles does it have? Oh, it's just got, it looks like it's got three in the original picture, but that's just his tail. So, it's got two. Two tentacles. Let's get, let's get a, the tentacle in there. This is going to be wild, guys. Wild and crazy. Club. Um, and then, do cats curl their tails around when they sleep? I'm pretty sure they do. Pretty sure that they do. More or less. And then, do I put the leg up like that? 
doesn't look very relaxed. Let's put him out and see its see its little paws. Its what do cat legs look like? Something like that. Meow, cat butt. Um, and then the tail will come around. Does the tail also go on top of his leg? I got a lot of things. I got a lot of... This, this animal was never designed for sleeping poses. It was only designed for action poses. Look at all those. Oh, I got a lot of drawing to do. I got a lot of drawing to do. Let's get going. Okay, so that's, I think I got it roughly blocked in where I want it. Let's do the other leg. Let's do, you know, you know something like that. It's about, ooh. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, they have four toes on their front paws, but only... Uh, no, five toes in the front paws, only four on their back paws. That's what I learned recently. Okay, let's do what I was thinking about doing, which is to make this head more. I guess it should be. No, this is not going to work. Let's get that nose in there. Where's the nose going to go? Meow. It has, so I noticed on the, let me take a look at my reference here. I don't know if this is a stylistic choice or if that's just, or if that's supposed to represent, let me rasterize this layer. Just looking at his head now. How oh, he's got that weird pattern. Don't know if that's actually supposed to be a pattern or, I guess not. Look, because looking at Dish or Lizzie's, there was no pattern on his head, so I think that's just a stylistic choice, too, because it's a black creature. Okay, am I on the right layer? Yes, I am. All right. Meow, meow, meow. Let's get that right underneath. Woof. Cats don't say woof. Woof. I'm saying woof, though, about this drawing, though. The and then we'll put a little sleep on there. The paws and legs. Mm, so it'll have two shoulders. Is that how it works? It's got to work that way. I tell you, it's just got to. Let's get that center line going. I think now is a good time to do that old trick. The flip, transform, flip horizontal to see what I'm doing wrong. And I feel like it's not too bad. So his head's a little wonky. Let's give him. Okay, maybe. <laughs> huh? Who's waking me up? Does he look too much like a cat and not enough like a monster? Maybe. But the clocks are ticking. Uh, oh yeah, so uh, his tentacles again let's go back to the chat I think it is light on the dark fur yes I think so too uh, but uh, we're not going to draw all the black we'll do that as a separate layer I think but we got to get that tentacle in so the tentacle kind of comes in looking at the original the tentacle kind of comes in at the shoulder doesn't it 
and how do we make that a relaxed looking tentacle? This is quite, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a red layer just to rock, see if I can, I don't have to do as much erasing. So this, here we have a leg, shoulder, leg, shoulder. I don't know where this other second leg is. This is fine, I'm happy with that. And the tail, I'm not sure, 100% sure about. So this will come down here maybe, and then let's do that. Okay, just working this out. And then the other one, it still doesn't look very relaxed though. Relaxed tentacles. I don't know if I can do relaxed tentacles. There's just so much going on with this anatomy. Let me try it though. Let me see if I can do it. And then the other one will be coming out here. And then the other. If his if his arm his arm is coming that way. There's like a little rock surface here. That's fine. That's fine. And then this is, uh, I feel like I'm going to be over time on this one. And then let's, that's good. And that's good. Okay. I think I'll just draw them this way from now on. Okay. So we're going to, whoops. Let's do some of that. And then we can, now we're on our proper layer again. That's all fine, that's all fine, that's all fine. Let's erase. That's not correct. Oops, I don't have my brush open. Oh, I'm on the wrong color. Oh, everything's going sideways. Okay. Maybe, like that? Are these tentacles too long? Who cares, not me. Not me. I mean, oh, that happened by accident. Okay. And then we decided, I don't I don't know, I don't know what's happening here. What did I draw? What the fuck did I draw? Okay. Sorry about the profanity. It's the details I should be doing at the end, but <laughs> okay, that doesn't even look good. What a waste. Alright. Um Okay, let's get that tentacle going down. More or less okay. Oh, cat anatomy, how you bane me. Cat nat cat anatomy. Anat anat canat canatity. Well, we're doing our best here. Okay. Okay, so we got the tentacles. This one, again, they seem really long, but that's fine. How are we doing for time? 10.26, I've got like a little over five minutes left. Okay, cool. Um, this other leg, I guess, oh shit, where's his other leg? I guess it's just behind the rock. We don't need to have all of his legs. 
so much going on here already. But, and it looks like, based on the original artwork, his tail has a kind of a club too. So maybe, maybe what I do is to show that clubby action. Take some license. Cat's tails don't really bend this way, but I'm taking some artistic license. Because it's a monster. Right? All right, I think we're getting close. I'm going to delete my red layer. I think... I'm feeling not too bad. Let's figure out this face. Cat face. How's everyone doing today, by the way? Watching this is like watching witchcraft, Alan says. I couldn't draw a straight line with a ruler. Oh, sure you could. Next week... Drawing straight lines with rulers. That's what's going to happen. Uh, cats. I got a cat nose. I used to have a cat. I should know how to draw cat noses. They're so cute and pink. But not on Displacer Beasts. Let's do this. And then you just use the eraser to break it up like you do. And then, oh, we'll give him one fang because he's scary. It's like, wasn't there some Disney? I'm thinking of Scar. Did he have a one fang? I just know he had a scar. I kind of want to put a little bit of that design that on his face that uh, David A. Trampier did. Doesn't really work though. And um, I think it's about time to put on uh, the, uh, the, the, the black layer. I'm saying. And oh, and there's a guy sneaking behind him. We got to do that too. <clears throat> I'm going to put the guy in a separate layer in case I fuck it up. I think. This is where my cartooning skills come in handy. this guy going to be an elf? Sure, let's make him an elf. I should get like a recurring character. I just have that circlet. Don't spend too much time on this elf, Torin. But do give him a mullet. He's got the leafy armor. <laughs> oh, we have fun, don't we, kids? All right. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf. Have you heard of Elf behind a Displacer Beast? Okay. And the pointy boots, because he's an elf. All elves have pointy boots. We know that much bit of a skinny elf. I'm not going to worry about a sword or anything like that. Who knows what happened in the dungeon. Okay. There's his other arm, so nobody says, how come he only has one arm? He's behind him. You dummy. That's center line. 
The line of action is what they call it. This will give me some pants or something. I don't know. It's not important. What's important is he's about to be eaten. If he doesn't make a stealth check. Okay. Cool. What are we doing? 1033. I got two minutes left. Awesome. Let's get rid of my uh, reference layers. No, I need that guy. And uh, I like the way this is turning out. That's not too bad. Let's just uh, add some more rock. I'm on the wrong layer now, but that's okay. There's no time. There's no time for such things. Uh, we do. Let's do the. Come on. Come on now. I'm going to save my work. And uh, let's. 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 Panthers are kind of purplish, right? So let's, it's going to be a black, and it's going to be a multicolored drawing, after all. Um, let's change my brush. And then let's just, I don't know, I don't know if this is going to work out or, or not. But we'll, we'll take a stab at it. I don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> I'm ruining my drawing, everyone. Uh, here's what you do. You uh, adjust the contrast. Then you can get a little more. That ear, I need to fix that ear. I need to fix that ear. Oh my god, I'm going over time. I'm going over time, everyone. God help me. Let's erase some of this so we get the highlights. The fang, the ear, the tentacle, the paw. I didn't do any Fregredo lines for the regulars here that will know that Duncan Fregredo is a fantastic drawer of, uh, I discovered him on Hellboy. I do want to fix these ears though. And, uh, uh, where, uh, let me just, we're, we're technically over time right now, but let me just, I just want to, finesse the ear a little bit if I can. Am I on the right layer? Yes. So it doesn't look like it's such a mess. It's kind of a, kind of a dirty, dirty, messy area here. Oh, uh, it's not the right brush now. We gotta fix that. That takes up precious time. Where's my waxy nib? I went too far. Rusty nib? No. Where is it? Where's my? There it is. My waxy nib. That's about the right size. Technically over time. I apologize, everyone. There's nothing worse than being technically over time. Uh, it's. Uh, I guess that'll do. Okay. Here we have. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to call it done. The uh, Displacer Beast in Repose. What do you guys think about this background? Well, the last th three, four that I did were uh, just on white. But I kind of like this background I got going on. So, uh, 20 minute monster displacer beast um, 2022 that's what it is now for the time being um 
yeah, that's all right. It turned out kind of, yeah, 20 minutes. What are you going to do? Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, make sure you visit my uh, YouTubes. Whoops. Don't wreck it. Uh, and uh, check out the other ones I did because on um, on the Twitch channel you can watch the last two weeks worth of videos I think I'm not exactly sure how it works so they don't stay up forever because I don't have I didn't buy an account on Twitch uh, so the videos only stay up for a certain amount of time um, but I post them to YouTube pretty much the day that I do them or within a few days uh, so go to my YouTube YouTube channel Torn Atkinson and um, you can rewatch how I did the previous one. So next up is going to be E. Um, there's an Etten in the D and D Monster Manual. There's an Eye of the Deep, which I'm leaning towards. There's Elf. Um, and what else is there? A Freety. I feel like those are the these those are the that's the short list minus the Elf. Um, so I usually do some kind of an informal poll on my Facebook page. Uh, I have my regular Facebook page and my Torn Atkinson Artist Facebook page where I post my artwork and nothing else. So you can vote. Uh, or if you want to vote right now in the chat, you have seven seconds. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, tune in again next week for E. And um, I really appreciate everyone stopping by and supporting me and the arts. Don't forget. Uh, we don't like AI art. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do like hand-drawn human art, which is what I am doing. So uh, see you next time. Thank you so much. I'm going to end recording. <laughs>